Hello there everybody, Peter of England bringing you an impromptu video at short notice um, but on a very, very important and wide-ranging wide topic um, that has become um, very, very topical since Monday. That was yesterday, this video being done on the 14th. Now, we've just had the state opening of Parliament whereby Her Majesty the Queen presided over the state opening of Parliament and the subject here that I want to cover now is something that means everything or it means nothing at all. And that is the regalia, the signs and the paraphernalia that the elite use to signal to the world their status, their power and their control. The most important one, arguably globally, is the crown and the crown worn by the Queen uh, Elizabeth. Now, many of you may not be aware, and many of you may be aware, that this is the first time since 1952 when she ascended to the throne that she did not wear what is called the imperial crown. This imperial crown was placed in a position uh, to her right uh, while the state opening of Parliament's formalities were conducted. Now, the commonplace media, the rabble fake news media, dismissed this totally as nothing more than a poor old lady who couldn't quite support the weight of a kilo on top of her head while she's sitting down and doesn't really have much more to do in the course of a year than exert herself for that. So, this imperial crown not being worn is a massive prompt to those who may want to be looking for uh, a, a sign of change, a, a, re a revolutionary aspect to global world dominance by the Khazarian, Zionist, Kabbalistic elite. Okay? So, this message that's being delivered is very, very important because there are many, many rumours flying that the royal family, the Queen of England, has in fact already abdicated and has been moved to the side or let's say in effect stood down by those forces on the planet that are looking to reassert a, 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 a truly free, democratic, uh, egalitarian and uh, just control of not only the world's governance but also its financial and economic control systems. Now, why I mention this is this is an announcement to all of you listening to this, uh, predominantly for those people in the United Kingdom and Ireland at the moment, but certainly for those in the United States very, very soon. This is going to be a video announcement coming very, very soon, probably in the next video, from Weabank, announcing a very, very important change of events. For those of you who realise about what Weabank has been trying to achieve for, for many years, especially since 2014, 2015 when it first launched, um, you will be aware that it has always been the bank that has taken on the establishment. And now with this prompt, as of Monday the 13th, whereby Queen Elizabeth refused or was told that she was not permitted, not permitted, to wear the imperial crown and everything that it stands for sends a very, very strong and direct signal for the following reason. Weabank has been given an initiative to participate, possibly as a prime mover, in the global reset and the global economic restructuring that has been promised to you for many a year. Um, the likes of Swiss Indo have promised it, uh, the OPP Trust, uh, Michael Tellinger, the Occupy Movement, the White Dragon Society, Neil Keenan, um, some of these names you might be familiar with. Um, so, to date, nothing has come to pass. However, now it would appear that there is a groundswell, a movement prompted by this major signalling from the global elite that they are not in as much a position of control as most people think they are. So if you watch the video, if you watch the photographs from the state opening of Parliament in the United Kingdom, you will see all the pomp, all the ceremony, all the 
so-called uh, um, regalia of state being paraded there in all its finery, but there was one massive and one massive clue missing uh, from the fact that the queen was not wearing the crown. What else could it mean? So, please stay uh, tuned to the channel. Press the subscribe and the like buttons down below. Follow the link and please be prepared for the, uh, the up and coming announcement that will be made uh, hopefully within the next week by Weir Bank. That will be me making it on behalf of Weir Bank. And it's all to do with the global currency and financial reset, which will mean the uh, a debt assumption and eradication of debt program launched by Weir Bank. Details coming up, and Peter of England saying thank you for watching.